what's going on friends welcome back to the channel i'm gonna be cleaning out my closet today my sister just cleaned out part of hers yesterday and i helped her so i am inspired to clean mine and i am going to show you guys how i organize and maybe show you guys what i'm planning to donate and just maybe a little bit of a thought process i don't know i wanted to take you guys along as i do this so kind of keeps me accountable to finish it the first storage unit is this thing from ikea i think it is called the mom i don't know i'll put it in here somewhere but um it's very popular a lot of people have this it's very affordable i've had it for a while and the drawers are getting a little crooked but it's all right it's okay and then i also have these um of course the sliding traditional sliding door situation ugh, that i've put these curtains in front of so it looks cuter when I film makeup videos, but I'm gonna finally open it for you guys and show you what's inside. Other than that, I have just this one spot of sweaters right here. This shelf is kind of random. It has like my scrapbooking stuff. It has my nail stuff kit and just like other random things, but it's just one shelf of sweaters. This is the top of my dresser. It's super cute with some decorative things as such and my jewelry and other things. I'm gonna show you guys what each drawer looks like. I'm already gonna donate this because it just does not fit me. No matter how much I love it, I love this is like, what would you call it? Would you call this vintage anymore? But it just does not flatter me. So each drawer, I've kind of Marie kondo it, not really. I fold it so everything stands vertically, but I do not fold it into the thirds and like tiny little little things that she did because I feel like it takes up a lot of width, whereas I just kind of fold them kind of... I'll show you guys right now. Okay, so take this shirt for example. For Marie Kondo, she would fold it like this, like into thirds, and then do like a little situation like that where it becomes like this cute little uniformed nugget of a clothing but i'm too lazy to do that and i feel like it takes too much like i said width and um, i can't fit all my clothes what i do is i just fold it in half hamburger style and then i just fold it in half again and then it looks like that it's a lot flatter so i can squeeze in more things my drawers are tight so that's why i feel like i do need to get rid of some things just because i need an easier time to i have to have an easier time to put my clothes in all right let's get started my plan of action is to go through each thing if i know for sure i'm gonna keep it i'm going to put it aside um, to put back in here but if i'm unsure about something i'm gonna make a separate pile and then i will do like a second filtering and if i need to try it on even then i will try it on and by the way this top is all or this drawer is all tops so we're starting with the tops this is the top that joyce gave me it's so cute i've only gotten to wear it once so far but i really love the color and the style of this sandy this is your top i still have not had a chance to give it back to you. Look at this top. I made this top, I think, like seven or eight years ago. It's a picture of Big Bang. I just used transfer on paper. And although this top isn't the most flattering or the greatest of materials, I keep it just because of them. One sad death. This was one of the first things that I've ever gotten at Brandy Melville. It's just a cropped kind of like faux suede tank top and I love this top. It flows so nicely. We are going on our last row of tops here. I have all of my graphics 
graphic tees all together. There's a lot of band tees like Big Bang, Tang from this concert. I also have a red velvet one. This is a custom design right here from Click. I will insert the link where you can buy this. Oh my god, I also have this shirt from Uniqlo, the Sailor Moon launch that came out. I haven't even worn this one yet. I have another one that I already wore. Everything went back into the dresser or the drawer. I have just a little bit of space in each row now, whereas before I really had to shove my hand in here to really put anything. I didn't get rid of that much, but we're starting slow. We'll review these after together. So the drawer right next to this one are all long sleeve tops. So little cardigans, some sweaters, a lot of cropped long sleeves in here. So let's get started. space in each little row again got rid of these things well i need to try some of these on because i'm not sure how they fit anymore so we'll do that later this belongs to my sister i'm gonna see if she still wants to keep it i think the most daunting task is going to be this closet so i think i just gotta do it so this is the closet I have all my jackets here because I didn't move them from the winter yet. Um, these are all some blouses that need to be hung, some pants that are a little softer and um, I didn't have anywhere to fold them. I also got these, um, what is this called? An organizer, space saver of some sort, of whatever, and it really helped create a lot of space in here. And then I have, it's kind of dark, but dresses and then more jackets back there. I also have some sweaters here, these two bins, and then, oh, right here are all my shorts and skirts. Oh my god, I'm like out of breath talking about it. The fan is on, so you might be hearing some of that in the background. I think I'm gonna start with the skirts and shorts because that cube is just falling over all the time because it's just a bunch of stuff in there. I wore this in my ABG video and it is way, it is literally way too short. I need to get rid of these. I will never wear them. I got this at a thrift store somewhere a long time ago and I don't even, I don't even know if I've worn it yet. I'm gonna try it on again. We have so far, this is the reconsider try on later pile this is all the ones that i'm gonna keep back there is just dresses like formal dresses that um obviously you don't wear often just for special events and a lot more jackets which i'll just keep back there because it is summer and i am clearly sweating i am going to start on my jeans now which is the drawer right below the tops this also has um scarves and kind of like peenies miscellaneous things i don't have very many denim jeans so i think it'll be quick to go through as far as the other drawers i just have sleep clothes workout clothes underwear and bathing suits and yeah that's it i'm not gonna go through those because i've already filtered those uh, quite a while back threw away a lot of um sleep clothes that were just ill-fitting and stained and ripped and just not cute kept all the ones that i will actually wear i think we only have ooh, we only have one more shelf which is that sweater shelf Now I have the glorious task of trying everything that I need to filter out on. 
So let's go pray for my sweaty head. There was a point in time where I really liked the mock neck style. I just don't know if it's flattering on me. I feel kind of just boxy and meh. I thrifted this Adidas shirt in the little boy section and I thought it was such a good steal. I think it was like less than $5 or something. But I don't think I've ever worn it. Oh, I cropped it. Oh, it looks cute. Let me change my bottoms because this, these just aren't cutting it. I just don't think I like navy that much. Just not, even with these denim shorts, I don't like the look. I'm thinking about it for too long. Gotta give it away. I feel like this shirt just hugs too tightly. You can see all my like rolls happening. This is just a basic striped t-shirt and you think that's something this simple I would reach for, but I just don't. I don't even remember the last time I wore this t-shirt. Maybe this could be transferred to the sleeping t-shirt because it still looks really cute, but I don't think I'd wear it out. I really love the color of this, but I just think that the breast area is not that flattering. And the material kind of has like a permanent crease. This shirt is from Brandy Melville and it is one of the softest shirts ever. It's just that I don't wear long shirts. I'm not even gonna try this on. This is another one of those t-shirts that's just way too thin and the material sticks to your body in a very unflattering way, so no. I tried on the white version of this a while ago. I don't think I kept that one. Maybe I'll keep the black one though. I have to try on all the sweaters next. You guys, and look at this. I chose literally the hottest day. It's like 93 degrees or something today. It's fine. I got this sweater just last fall, and at first I really liked it because of the color, the fit and everything, but I feel like once I washed it, I don't know if the sleeves got shorter or if they were always short, but they're kind of just like, maybe like two inch, two inches too short for me. Again with the navy, I don't know. There's just something about navy that I'm not really that drawn to. And I've had this since like 2013, 14. I don't know, I think I've only worn it a handful of times. So no. This is cute. It has a really wide open square neck. It looks kind of funny with this uh, sports bra on right now though. This, this, this top in theory is cute, but I feel like the neck is too wide. Yeah, I already don't like my wide shoulders, so I think, I don't think I'm gonna keep this shirt because it just accentuates it. This is another one of those wide neck shirts. Nope. This sweater is so cute. It's a super cropped sweater. I wore it recently, but then when I wore it recently, I realized how short it was. I don't know. I just feel like this isn't really practical to wear anywhere anymore. And like the neckline, it's just all weird now with the seams and look how it kind of puckers and folds. That's just too much work. This is one of those mock neck type of shirts again. I'm gonna just... I feel like there's nothing wrong with it, but I feel like it doesn't make me feel like amazing in it either. This is another Brandy Melville shirt that is super soft, amazing quality, but I don't know, it just doesn't, doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> it's going. Last thing I have is a midi dress. I already know I don't like this dress because it is way too tight and I'm not that confident wearing it. It just hugs in all the places I don't want it to hug, so no. That is everything, you guys. I did it. I'm actually gonna show my sister these things first, see if she wants to keep anything. And then these are the things that made it back into my closet. I did only one, two, three, four things that I decided to keep again, so that's pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Maybe it'll inspire you to clean up especially during this quarantine situation that we have, we're all stuck inside and we could uh, improve our 
lives a little bit every day somehow. Oh my god, my allergies are killing me. All right, I'm gonna end the video here. I'm just gonna fold everything and clean up a little bit. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.